Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. Solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, 1 over r plus 3 is equal to r plus 4 over r minus 2 plus 6 over r minus 2. Okay? Now one thing I want to do here, I first am going to look. I see the right hand side has the same denominator already, so I want to combine that together to one fraction. So we have 1 over r plus 3 equals, well we add the numerator, right? 4 pl r plus 4 plus 6 is just r plus 10, right? We have r plus 10 here, and the denominator r minus 2. Now I'm going to cross multiply. All right, I'm going to cross multiply here, get everything to the numerator. 1 times r minus 2 is just r minus 2. Right hand side, we have well, r plus 3 times an r plus 10. Okay. We want to FOIL that out, the right hand side, so left is r minus 2, r times r is r squared, r times 10 is 10r, 3 times r is 3r, add them together, and we have 13r. And 3 times 10 is 30. Okay? So, let's bring the r and the plus or minus 2 to uh, the right hand side, so we have 0 equals r squared is there, but subtract r, and 13r, we have a 12r. Add 2 to 30, and we get 32. Well, now we need to factor this, and this factor is to be r plus 8 times r plus 4. What well, two numbers multiply to be 32, but add to be 12, that's 8 and 4. Keep going to simplify. Alright, set both of those now equal to 0. r plus 8 equals 0. r plus 4 equals 0. Equals 0, that's an equals. And so r equals negative 8 and r equals a negative 4. Now they tell us we need to check for extraneous solutions, so to do that what we want to do is take our original equation and plug in each corresponding value for the variable and see if the left and right hand side are equal. So let's do a negative 8 first. Negative 8 plus 3 equals a negative 8 plus 4 over negative 8 minus 2 plus 6 over negative 8 minus 2. All right. I like to just kind of do it all on my calculator here so I don't make a mistake, but that's not always foolproof. So 1 divided by negative 8 plus 3, and that is just a... Uh, is that right? Oh, it is right. Oh my goodness, negative 1 fifth. We'll see there. All right. Negative 8 plus 4 divided by negative 8 minus 2. And this fraction here is a. Did I write no, I didn't write that, but good. It's good. I caught it. Negative 8 plus 4 divided by negative 8 minus 2. Uh, that's what I did. I put a 9 instead of a parenthesis. And that fraction is just a 2 fifths. Looking good so far. 6 divided by, I should put division in there, divided by negative 8 minus 2. And that fraction is a negative 3 fifths. Well, 2 fifths plus a negative 3 fifths is a negative 1 fifth. Left and right hand side are equal. And so we know that negative 8 is a solution. But there's two numbers, we gotta check the other one. Same idea, put negative 4 in for r. 1 over negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 4 plus 4 over negative, I almost put 8 in, be careful, negative 4, that's a negative 4, minus 2 plus 6 over negative 4 minus 2. Okay? Well, first things, 1 over negative 4 plus 3 is a negative 1, so we have a negative 1 over 1 here equals minus 4 plus 4 is 0. It doesn't really matter where the denominator is. Right, it's going to be 0, but minus 4 minus 2 is a minus 6. Okay, keep going. 
minus 4 minus 2 is a minus 6, so we 6 over minus 6. Well, this is 0, cancel it out. 6 over negative 6 is a negative 1, and negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. Left and right hand side are equal, so our two values for r are negative 4 and negative 8. They both are true. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. MinuteMathTutor.com